Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will add on to the pickup script to be able to pick up objects and actually store them into an inventory that we're going to use later. So how this looks uh, before and we're going to fix a little error. Before, when you've, uh, if you've been following the series, uh, when you pick up money, you could have picked it up, like if you spammed E while he was picking it up, you would get all of the, you know, the, the value that you get when you pick up the money once would multiply by the times that you pressed E. And I fixed that bug, so if you noticed it, this is the fix for that. And um, also we've added the um, inventory system and the items. So basically the inventory looks like this, you can make it look a lot prettier. So when I hold tab it appears, when I let go of tab it disappears. You can make this look a lot prettier. I'm just gonna, this is just a basic example for it. Um, so how it looks like when you uh, go in front of an object that you can pick up. You can hold tab, you don't have to, you can do whatever. Basically when you click E, he's gonna pick up the sword and it's gonna pop in like a little icon in your inventory. Now when you walk uh, through, we have a different item over here. When you click E, you're gonna pick it up. Of course, you don't have to be in your inventory while you're picking them up. You can just pick them off the ground and click tab and they're going to appear. So it's a pretty cool little system. It works. Later, we're going to be make it so you can like drop items or, um, for example, uh, like equip them, etc. So how this works is I've um, done some work on the pickup script and I've made a global inventory script. Now, if you've been following the tutorial, I want you to go to your event system, empty game object and check it. It has to be the same like this, except the um, inventory currency. We've done this before, but the event system tab has to have the standalone input module and the event system script. If you do not have, and it has to be tagged game controller. If you do not have this, you can go to game object UI and create an event system with all these things. Just be sure to tag it game controller. Why you need this in your scene and these scripts is because um, your GUI, uh, the new UI um, won't work if you do not have these scripts and an event system in your scene. So uh, let's get to the script. Let me explain it. Basically, I've made a inventory script, which is on the event system, which um, basically holds all the variables. We have a game object inventory tab, which is the tab that appears when you hold uh, the tab button. Uh, on the start function, I just say that it's disabled, and if we uh, hold the tab in the update function, so get key key code dot tab. If I would have put get key down, it, when if we press tab once, um, it's gonna appear and it's gonna stay there. But I made it so you have to hold tab for it to appear all the time. If you let go of tab, it's gonna disappear. So that's basically that of this script. Now the pickup script, I've done a couple of things to it. This is going to be on the GitHub so you can download it, the updated version. So I've added um, this inventory inv inventory script. This uh, is a reference to the inventory script we have over here. I've added a um, public bool item and the I think this was before, but basically I made a public game object item icon, which is the icon that appears in your inventory once you've um, picked up the object. I've also uh, went to the inventory script. I've um, uh, not. I didn't go to it. I just uh, got the reference to it over here. So basically, we find the game object, the um, game controller, and we get the inventory component of it. I made a, a bool uh, called picked up, and it's false. So it's gonna turn true when we pick up the object. So here's what happens. Um, I've I've changed this a bit so it doesn't check two things. It only checks one, and later in the um, I enumerator it checks if uh, we pick up money or if we picked up an item so here when we're at something and when we press E and if the picked up is false we um, start the quarantine play animation and um, we set the picked up to true so we cannot pick up the object while we're try while we're uh, picking it up so if we keep pressing E it's not going to be able to get picked up because the picked up is not false but it's true so basically that does that now in the I enumerator play anim, um, I've made it so um, the money, this is all the same, the animation it plays. So if you want all the whole script explained, it's in the, I think it's in the uh, pick up money or money system, uh, the previous uh, part of this uh, tutorial. It's going to be in the description. Um, now else if, um, so we have the money um, functionality over here. Now this is the item functionality. Basically, we have this. Um, I've created a temporary game object called Game Object I, and the Game Object I instantiates the item icon from our um, 
from our prefabs that we create later. Um, it's in the textures, I think. I'll show you how you do this later. But basically, it gets the prefab, it instantiates it, and it sets it as a temporary game object. And for that instantiated uh, game object, we uh, set the parent to the inventory script dot inventory tab. So ba you're going to see basically what it does. It creates this icon that we made a prefab of. I'm going to show you how you do all of that later. And it sets uh, the parent to that object to this uh, inventory tab. Um, uh, it's a uh, grid. Lay it's uh, what's it called? It's a UI it's a panel. I'll show you how you set up this later. I'm just explaining the script right now. So basically, um, I made this temporary game object because you cannot set parents to prefabs that you have in your resource files. You have to create a temporary game object and set the parent to that object that is the instantiated prefab, the instance of the prefab. After that, it destroys the game object and because we picked it up. So how you set all of this up? Um, let me show you what I did. So. I have this, um, let's go to 2D view, so I have this, let me just um, uh, make this so you can see it. So basically, I have this inventory tab. Now, what this is, it's a panel. So when you click UI, you create a panel. As you can see, it takes up the whole screen. So I'm just going to disable this and uh, walk you through it. Now, it creates this little panel. It's not little, it's covering this whole screen, but yeah. So I, I hold shift and select one of the corners to mm, scale it down. You can place it in the middle. You can like uh, play around with it as much as you like. Um, you can make it look pretty. You can do whatever. So the important thing is you have to add this grid layout group because the way, if you remember on the start of the video, the items appear in a grid. So you have to make them, well, look into a grid. So you have to add the grid layout group now you can play around with these values basically what the padding does it um, is when a box gets created it's not it's going to appear like over here and we do not want it to appear over there we want it to appear like over here so what this does this just uh, sets the padding to where the first one starts where the last one ends etc this is the cell size now you're going to see this into you're going to see how this works but basically um, for each item in the game, we're going to want to have that uh, item's icon. So now I have the sword. Um, let me show you. So this is the sword. Now I want a sword icon. I found the sword icon on the internet. Now I also have this little like scroll thing. I just wanted to show you how you can do it with multiple items. So that's why I have this. But basically imagine this is a scroll. So I got these two textures off the internet. This little uh, weapons medieval sword and the scroll icon. What you do is you click over here and click the 2D sprite, 2D and UI. Say I did the same with this. And um, what you do um, is, let's go back to the uh, panel. What you do is you get the scroll and basically you go game object, UI, and you create a, let me see what I've created over here. So you create an image and the image you've created you basically attach the scroll or the sword let's do what the sword looks better you attach the uh, texture of the scroll to the sprite and uh, you can scale it down you can do whatever i'll scale it down a bit but it doesn't matter so how this works is it creates this little image and it sets the parent to the image it uh, the panel now as you can see the second I uh, move the image, it, uh, the second I've uh, added it as a child to the panel, it uh, places over here. That's because we have the grid layout group. So um, this icon is a bit too big, so we're going to make it a bit smaller. For example, uh, 70 over here and 70 over here. Now, as you can see, it's all the way over here, so we want it to have a bit of space um, from the edges. Now we're going to do that by um, changing this padding, for example, 11. Now um, we don't, I, for example, if I wanted to go vertically, horizontally, you can change all of these things. I'm just going to duplicate these, make more of them so you can see how it looks like. And for example, I'm going to set the, uh, the source image to something else. I'm going to set it to this, uh, this scroll over here. And I'll put it this over here so it looks better like this all right so um now it reminds me of tic tac a bit but tic tac tail but but yeah basically go to the panel and you can play around with this as much as you like let's set the left alignment to 10 the right to 10 let's just uh make it 10 on everything so top bottom 
and uh, I'm going to set the start corner to the start axis. It's, it can be vertical, it can be horizontal. I'll just change the cell size because it's way too big. I'll make it like 40, 40. So you can make it vertical, you can make it horizontal. You can make the child alignment, to, for example, middle center, so it's going to be over there. You can make it uh, upper center. Uh, the things I have set up for the one I made earlier is um, like this. Let me just, I'll, uh, I'll delete this one, but basically you get the idea. Um, I have everything set up like this, so left is 10, 10. You can basically play around, play around with this. This is how I made it. Uh, this constraint, uh, this basically, uh, the constraint count is 4. Uh, this constrains it to how much items can be in a line or in a row or in a row or in a um, I forgot what this is called, but yeah Basically, I've made it to four so you cannot like have seven of them in one or like it overlaps to the edge Oh, yeah, that's how you create that and um, After you um, all you have to go see Charles tab. So after you've created these uh, images after you created them uh, what you need to do is you got to put them out of the panel so out of the panel into the whatever So I've dragged the image out of the panel. So this is the sword image I'll just call it sword and what you need to do is you need to make a prefab of it You can do that by simply just dragging it over to whatever folder you have and it's gonna make a prefab of it so now that you have that prefab uh, you want to go ahead go on the um, let me see it event system add the inventory script so inventory tab and what else you need to do is um and so select the inventory tab to the ui um to the panel that you have so for example you can see that my event system has the inventory tab that i've disabled and um the uh other thing you need to do is uh, you got to go to the sword that you want to pick up uh, let me just find it all right, so, so this can be for all items. So uh, if you um, were a bit curious about how I've made the sword, basically this can do, you can do this with any other item, any other icon, etc. Just put the icon into the panel, uh, set its size and everything accordingly in the panel, and then just drag it out of the panel. Uh, let me find the, yeah, drag it out of the panel and just drag it over here to make a prefab of it. Once you made a prefab of it, you go to the sword that you um, want to pick up and when you add the pickup script you're going to have new options now just select item and in the item icon put the uh, appropriate item icon so that should work let me just delete the things that I've made to show you guys and delete the panel you can set this to true it doesn't matter you can make this um, appear because it doesn't matter in the script it uh, disables it on start anyways so that's basically it uh, for the scroll, I've added the pickup as well, set it to item, and I just, uh, oh, I forgot to delete the little sword, so it's popping up over there. I forgot to delete it, let me just, yeah. So that's it. Um, now when you walk over to the um, I, item, you, you can hold tab, you don't have to all not hold tab for this. Now when you click tab, you have the, um, the uh, scroll now when you let go of it. You can do whatever, you can pick up the sword again, it gets added. So in the next video, I'll be working on fast traveling. Um, I've made a little uh, small, um, I basically made it, I just need to record the video. And I'll make a video where you can actually buy items. So when you collect enough coins, you can walk up to somebody, buy items, and they're going to be stored in your inventory. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope everything works for you guys. If you have any questions or um, suggestions, leave it in the comments. Donate if you want to get the whole project when it's finished. Uh, the minimum amount is $5. The video will be um, out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.